Kills could be done. They had no choice. Sometimes one must do what must be done. They had no choice. Hmm? Oh, ha! Forgive me, my friend. I have a lot on my mind. I found another piece of the story, and I am another step closer to the truth. It is tragic. Bloody. A betrayal, some might say. But they would be wrong. That is just the way of things. Trust me. I know all too well. Anyway, does the Puxel Tech need something? I have new items on offer. I hope I have something of use for its journey. What is on its Paxultec mind? A priesthood was formed in service to the goddess, and she taught them alone to wield the power of the living stones. The simple things only, from what I can gather. Heating pots on command, lulling young ones to sleep and things of the like. But there was so much more potential. This divine power was right at their fingertips, but she selfishly kept it to herself. It must have been maddening. Yes, I'm certain it was. They made a plan to trap her. One day a year, she took mortal form and required Thalos to lie with her. Our noble king was dubbed the Bloodless King because he never sired a child. It was because of her. He was under her spell. She was less powerful in her mortal form. So when that night came around, they used their own ancient magics and captured her. Thelos was enraged and fought back, killing his own kind. Yeah, they had no choice but to capture him as well. Thelos was driven mad by the goddess. He would not listen to reason. So they imprisoned him and took control of the kingdom. Knowing the goddess was fond of her royal pet, they bartered his life in exchange for the secrets of her power. They got what they wanted, what they needed to safeguard their society. Using her power, they were able to create living constructs to do their bidding. And so, the pen went from living like savages to an era of swift advancement. Imagine having such Power in the palm of one's hand. Power like that could change the fate of our people, even those deemed unworthy of the Thane fruit. It is tragic, but that is the way of history, of the world. One must rise from tragedy, stronger than before. The secret of this power must still be around here somewhere. I can feel it. Trust me, my friend. This day will live on in the annals of history forever and ever. Why? Why? Because I have sacrificed everything for this knowledge, for this power that I am on the cusp of unearthing. This could change everything for me, for all commoners, for all of Yesha. It has no idea. Dear what I have endured to get here. The suffering, the loneliness, the ridicule. How the Lamir laughed and laughed at poor Walt. It was humiliating. And then there were those wasted, tortuous years surfing genus. That cruel tyrant who none of us chose. Doing anything she asked of me. Anything. I did everything she asked of me, and she asked a great deal. Whenever there was blood to be spilled, there I was in the night. Dagger in hand. Important figures. Commoners like me. Even children. It was the only way to prove my loyalty. I... 
did not mean to, I, I, I did not want to, but I had to do it. That was the only way she would ever trust me enough to explore the uncharted jungle. It was for the greater good. It really was. I just... wish I could forget their eyes. The look of betrayal in their eyes as they breathe their last breath. As long as I live, I never want to see that look again. My friend, my first and only friend, he must think Walt is a monster. And perhaps I am, but my heart is true. If nothing else, believe that much. Uh, if I must. When the ancient Pan left their homeland to escape the plague, several ships were separated from the rest and landed here. Thelos was their leader and helped build a new society, but he soon fell ill with that same plague. He came upon a stone goddess, Ledusa, who cured him in exchange for a year with her. Ledusa also gifted him long life, so when he returned, he cured the survivors and ruled for centuries. The Ben loved him and worshipped Ledusa. Walt will not give up. Please, friend, I hope it will support my research if it is able. Believe in me. Someone must.
believe it. Is... is that a pooch? Come here. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, God. It's been ages since I saw one. Man's best friend right there. Wait. What the... Well, I'll be damned. Either you're a human, or I ate some bad mushrooms. I haven't seen a fellow Earthling in decades. All right. Explain yourself, or I start shooting. Uh, I'm asking the questions around here, kid. Where did you come from? And what are you doing in my home base? Talk. And if I like what you say, you may just walk out of here alive. So get talking. Then you are from Earth. I knew it. Wonders never cease. At ease. I'm Private Jack Driver. Now, this is gonna sound crazy, but I've been stranded here on Yesha for over a century. I may be an old man now, but I was actually a kid when I first came here. <laughs> New recruit. Fresh out of boot camp. Life has been... trying, to say the least. I would be dead if not for my survival training. Hell, you throw me for a loop here. I feel like I'm dreaming, but... Well, those types of dreams usually involve go-go boots. Mr. Sandman has lost his touch if I'm asleep. Get in line, kid. The white in my gruff and my horrible back pain tell me I've been waiting a lot longer for answers than you have. I'll go first. It wasn't a question, but glad you're making it easier on yourself. Now tell me, is America still safe? Still free? Did, did we beat the Ruskies to the moon? Are, are there flying cars or anything like that? Come on, lay it on me. I don't know what to say. Well, thanks for telling me the truth, I guess. Deal's a deal. What are your questions? Unless your friend had survival training, he's probably dead if he was unlucky enough to wind up here. I haven't seen a human aside from you in ages, though. So, uh, try to keep hope alive. Matter of fact, well, well. Didn't know it was a lady friend we were talking about, or I'd have been more... delicate. You sweet on her, or what? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Hang loose, soldier. Well, this ain't story hour, so I'll try to keep it brief. When I was a new recruit, I was sent here on a recon mission with my squad. We were captured by the Pan. Thanks to our captain, we managed to escape. But we were separated. We never saw our commanding officer again. He must have died and stayed dead. But the rest of us, well, we died and then somehow reappeared at the stone we used to travel here from Earth. We were the same, but older. Bizarre, I know. Long story short, the stone stopped working, so we were trapped here on Yesha for good. We would have died if not for our training and the things our captain had taught us about this world. Damned if I know. We were soldiers, not scientists. I bet Captain Ford could have figured it out. But like I said, we'd already lost him. I'd have done anything to fix that thing. But no dice. We were stranded in this hellhole. Over time, the rest of my squad died one too many times and never showed up again. Eventually, you age out of that trick, I guess. Hey, I'm no spring chicken, so I'm likely on my last leg myself. That isn't funny. Don't you dare sully the memory of our dearly departed commanding officer. He was the greatest man I've ever known, aside from my pops. He deserves better than that. I never told you his first name. Holy smoke. Today just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Well, hell. We thought he was dead. So I bet he assumed the same. That or he escaped, but then couldn't get back through that broken stone. I know he would have come back for us if he could have. I can't believe he's still alive. If I ever reunite with that brave bastard, I'm gonna punch him right in the kisser and then give him the biggest hug he's ever had. Sounds like you've done a lot of traveling. You know, when I was recruited, I thought I'd see the whole world. Never imagined I'd wind up leaving the whole world behind. 
I'll admit, I miss being around humans. It gets lonely. Oh, I'd give anything to sleep in a soft bed again. Or sit by a fireplace. Do they still have those? With a hot cup of coffee? Shit. I don't usually let myself think about coffee. Hmm. Some wounds run too deep. Right. If things are as bad as you said, I guess I shouldn't have assumed stuff like that still exists. Never mind. It's... It's... Nothing important. A lot. I used to write down things that I remembered so I wouldn't forget them. But, well, I got too depressing. I remember seagulls fighting over crusts of bread on the beach. Red, white, and blue flags waving proudly over perfectly manicured lawns. I remember mop tops on television making the girls go wild. <laughs> Birthday candles and the smell from Ma's kitchen when she made Thanksgiving dinner. Stacks of new jeans in the stores and kids laughing in the park. And my sweetheart, who I left behind. Her name was Dawn. I, I, I remember her a lot. The smell of her perfume. The way she blush when I compliment her dress. Her red Mary Janes. She, she's dead by now, but believe you me, that chick was far out. One last thing before we part ways. Tell it to me straight. Do you know of a way to get back home? Now, I'm not big on asking for favors. I've been in survival mode the vast majority of my life. But I'm asking you this. When you go back, will you take me with you? Words can't express what I'm feeling right now. Thank you. In fact, here, take this. A little token of my appreciation. It's not much, but it's saved my hide more times than I can count. Won't be needing it anymore, so I want you to have it. Now, go and do whatever it is you came here to do. I'd go with, but uh, truth be told, I'm a rickety old man now. I'd only slow you down. Finish your mission, and come back. I'll be waiting. Let me know if I can help with anything. Remember, the mission always comes first.
This looks important. This isn't over. It can't be over. Not well. Not well at all. Ask and be done with it. It is hideous. Difficult to look at. Uh, being alone with this new truth has been... It has been... Just know that I am glad for the company. What did I find? If it must know, proof of heinous betrayal and cruel misuse of power, and, and the downfall of my lost tribe at her despicable hands. 
Once the Pan Priesthood had pried every last secret of the Living Stones from the captured goddess Lydusa, they granted her the mercy of truth. A bitter truth that would ruin everything they'd worked so hard to build. See, Thelos had long ago died from injuries sustained during his capture. A tragic and unintentional loss as he was well loved by his people. But the goddess went mad! In her fury, she broke free from her prison. Then she... She... She murdered them. In a cold, cruel rage, she turned the pan's living constructs against them. And together, they swept through that utopian kingdom and decimated the lost tribe. Only the priests remained. Confined to the throne room. Drenched in blood, she demanded Thelos' body, but it had long since been burned. They could not comply even if they wished to, but she did not care. She is incapable of such emotion. She killed them! And that was that. The end of my lost tribe. They're gone. Destroyed. Forever. All because of a failed goddess did not think us worthy of her power. She must pay. It is wrong. Wrong! <laughs> Walt is speechless. My lost tribe is no more. Thelos was unintentionally killed in his struggle with the priests. When they eventually told Ledusa, the captured goddess, she escaped and destroyed them all. Every last pen was ripped to shreds without a trace of mercy. Even the ones who had faithfully worshipped her all that time. Those who had nothing to do with the priests and their schemes. The younglings. The elders. None survived. All because she did not believe us worthy of her power. Must we, Pan, always be treated like dirt by the ones who rule over us? Is there no other fate for my kind? I swear I will make her pray. There... There must be a way. There it is. That is the end of the story. The end of Walt's dreams. The end of everything. Please, do not make me speak of it again. I am... unwell. What does it think is the matter? My hopes and dreams have crumbled and fallen. The lost tribe is no more, and the secrets of her power are lost. I will never escape. It is either a life of loneliness in the jungle, or of deplorable servitude back home. I cannot go back. I will not go back to that life of misery. But I cannot hide in the wreckage of the lost tribe either, barely scraping by. There is nothing left for me. My dream is dead. I am a walking corpse. Truth be damned! I was not doing this for truth. I wanted to find the lost tribe and join their society. And once I found out about their power over stones, I had foolishly hoped to overthrow Genus and her tyrannical hold over the pan. I dreamed of a Yesha where every pan could rise and fall based on their own merits. Where they're free to choose what shape their life will take. Where there is no cabal of immortal elites who treat us like expendable pawns. But it is over. Finished. The lost tribe is gone, and the goddess, her secrets are her own once again. It is hopeless. Ask or do not, buy or do not, it does not matter anymore. Buy or do not, he does not matter anymore. It is a voxel deck, but more than that, it is Walt's friend.
Yeah.